Again, appreciate you being here. Um, obviously, Florida State is a, a very, very good team, and the credit goes to them. They came out and hit every shot. They were able to get the ball inside. Uh, our whole game plan was to really congest the paint and force them to, uh, to, you know, to play more of a perimeter game. Uh, turns out that's really difficult. Uh, as we adjusted, though, I thought our kids did a great job, and Nicole really led the charge uh, you know, toward the end of that second half where we started realizing when we go attack, and it's not just about the game plan. Yes, I think they improved some of their adjustments, but when we attacked them offensively, when we played with more, as Nicole will tell you, played with an attitude, right? And, and that's a good thing, playing with an attitude, and we weren't afraid of you know, a top 10 team. Uh, I thought we came roaring back and, and really showed that we can play at the highest level. We just need to be more consistent. We've been saying it for a while. Um, you know, from the beginning, when you, if you're going to beat a top 10 team, you need to play for 40 minutes consistently. And we had just a couple lapses in there where we allowed Florida State to get away from us. But uh, I thought it was a great testament uh, to our, our pink game today, um, you know, playing for, you know, uh, people who have been touched by cancer. Uh, and again, it was, it was great to hear some of the inspirations that our players were to others, as well as some of the people that are battling, uh, you know, things that are much bigger than basketball were inspiring to our players. So again, I'm proud of our kids. And uh, again, thank you all for being here. Coach, you uh, had a great second half, but it was, a, it was a tale of two halves. That first half, you guys shot just about 30%, and FSU was shooting almost 72%. Um, so what adjustments did you tell your players in the locker room to, to come out as hot as you guys did? Yeah, so, you know, partly the, the, the law of averages does come in a little bit. You know, they, they made some difficult shots early, uh, but they were able to get to the rim a couple times that, that I thought we should have done a better job of congesting and, and helping. They're such a powerful inside team that that was the game plan from the beginning. Uh, it's hard to assimilate that in practice. So, again, it took our players a little bit, and that's sometimes uh, a young team is that, you know, once they finally get the feel, oh, this is really what it feels like. They, they made great adjustments, and I thought we did a really nice job of making it difficult for them. I thought Karima Gabriel, Karima, you know, just again patrolling the paint. She had five, uh, you know, five blocks and five steals. You know, playing some post defense in there. But again, our perimeter players were able to come in and and congest as well, and and then did a good job of getting back out and contesting shooters and and, and boxing out as well. So yeah, just you know, uh, offensively, as 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 Nicole pointed out to our team, when we attacked and played without fear. Then we found we could score, and then everything starts feeling better. So yeah, it's you know a lot of that had to do with us. A lot of that had to do with Florida State. When you look at them. What are some of the things you can sort of take away to, you know, maybe get on their level at some at some point? Nicole, you want you want you want to take that one? Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, I mean, they're number nine in the country for a reason. They're just very solid, and I think that's something that we strive to be every single day. Is just solid. Like, don't turn the ball over. Be solid on defense. Um, I'm thinking about their help defense, just defensive wise. I mean, you would drive and there'd be someone there. So just their rotations were really crisp, like every single play, every single time down the floor. So I think if we can get there, if we can be consistent with our defense, be there for each other, I mean, we can be a, a top team and maybe get some more wins under our belt. But um, they're just solid. That's what I would say about them is they're solid, and we strive to be that every single day. This is the stuff I love about coaching. So I ask them that kind of stuff. So you could see, so you could do my job. This is what I ask them in the <laughs> locker room all the time: is, hey, what's the difference between where we are and where we need to be? And you know, it's not just spectacular athleticism or amazing shooting or whatever. We have the talent. It's just some of those discipline issues. It's some of those consistency issues and things like that. And again, that's it's neat to hear our players notice that. That boy, they don't give you anything. They really make you work for everything, and um, and they're relentless offensively. And you know, they they just continue to execute. They finish, you know, those kinds of things. So, good answer, Nicole. You too, Coach. <laughs> great. Any other questions? Yeah. Um, Nicole, you had a great start to the game. When you came off the bench and replaced Ashley, it seemed like you guys in that first half kind of gave the team a spark. And going into the second half, it seemed like you probably gave some words to Kevin Hughes as well. So, being <laughs> the team leader and the captain, and obviously going into next year, uh, your senior year, what kind of role does it seem that you're going to play in this team? And, and what it looks like going into the last two games of the season? Um, I think just for me, it's just kind of trying to inspire my teammates, um, doing whatever I can to make them as good as they can. Like, that's that's what I take pride in, um, bringing people along with me. I, I, I think I'm good at kind of having self-confidence for myself and knowing that my teammates are around me and they're there for me. So I want to do the same exact thing for them as I want to bring them with me. I want them to have all the confidence in the world that they can – they can be really good players, and we can be a really good team. And I'm so excited, not only for these last two regular season games, the ACC tournament, but next year, just thinking about next year, oh, my goodness. Like, I honestly think we can be a very good team. And taking every, like, 
I, I always talk about how the worst part of the end of every year is thinking back to the games. You're like, oh, we could have gotten that one. Oh, we could have gotten that one if we were just a little bit more solid. So next year, really taking it one game at a time and really taking advantage of every single game and giving ourselves a chance at the end of the year to make a tournament, to do something like that. And, um, and we need every single person on this team. You see people, step, people stepping up all over the place. And just bringing them along with me, I, if I can do that, then I, I'm very excited of where, where, we can, where we can go. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the ACC, we often say that winning the ACC tournament is maybe actually be harder than winning the NCAA tournament, right? Because in the NCAA, there may be an upset, you might get an easier game. In the ACC, you're going to play a top team every single round. So uh, that we love it. Uh, this is what we all signed up for. Um, and, you know, get, yeah, you look, at, you look at our week. We just came back from a top 25 team on the road. We just played a top 10 team here, and we're about to go play another top 10 team on the road. Welcome to the ACC. But, again, you know, I think you see, uh, you know, the look in Nicole's eyes, and, you know, just you can see, you can hear the passion in her voice is that this is what gets us fired up. It, it, it forces you to be at your best. And there were times when we were at our best tonight, and we still weren't successful because we're playing a really, really good team, right? But when we, when we were consistent and we were relentless, we had success against the best in the country. And you, unless you get a chance to play those games and feel those atmospheres, there's just no way to assimilate that in practice. Or I can preach it all I want. So to go to the, to the Yum Center at, at Louisville next week and play in front of 10,000 fans in that, in that kind of you know, environment, again, there's, there's nothing like it. We love it. You know, and again, I just, uh, I just can't wait to, uh, for us to be up to the challenge. Great. Thanks so much. Thank you.